G'day Cancer, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, Cancer, let's start with a message for you. <clears throat> Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So, make the effort. Get dressed up a little bit. Get out there. Have some fun. Just go out and have some fun. I don't think it's to be play, be a player or anything. I think you just need to get out and have some fun. Um, and then decide what you want. And call it in. <laughs> but yeah, just make the effort to have some fun. Yeah. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And make the effort. Hmm. So I'm getting, like, making the effort to get out there. To give yourself a chance to actually find a relationship. Get out there, have some fun. Get to know people. Go and get out there and shine, Dal. <laughs> so the relationship has a chance to find you. Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards cancer, please. Come on, three cards. What's the love energy coming towards Cancer? Oops, sorry. Oh, there's one. Mm, we saw what that one was, didn't we? Hmm. Some will be saying, oh no, and some will be going, oh good. <laughs> oh. Okay, that one goes back because that was an extra. All right, we have this one and that one. So they have reconciliation. Someone for your past is returning to your life. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, we'll find out who that is because it could be someone from the recent past, could be someone from a long ago, could be... Yeah, do, and do they want to just reconcile their differences, or is it more? Ooh, we got flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. Oh. And then we've got codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, you know who this is, don't you? Yep. 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 <sighs> Bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. They have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So I'm hearing that, yeah, they know it's safe to love you. They can open up their heart to you because you're not going to hurt them. But I'm getting there still a bit on the selfish side here. When it comes to their belief systems, when it comes to love. Um, I think that um, I'm getting that let go of control issues. It's like they don't want any situation that's very controlled here. It's a go with a flow attitude. I wouldn't be surprised if flirt was next, but it's oh, we got a wedding and separation. Yeah. See, yeah. They want to express love, but commitment, mm, I don't see them going for that. I'm just getting mm, 
there's not going to be any sort of control of we're together. And I think they're still believing. Their belief systems are very free when it comes to a relationship. They're very self-absorbed still, but they see that it's you're 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 safe because you're not going to hurt them. <sighs> they're still flirting and they're still codependent. <sighs> Dear, well, maybe. Well, I'm definitely getting. They think it, that you're you're not going to hurt them. Hmm. All right. Let's get another message for you, Cancer. I love the backs of these decks. <laughs> this deck. It's so beautiful. Oh, you've got the Seven of Earth, the Hermit or Solitary, Knight of Water, and the Shaman, which is the Hierophant. See, you've done a lot of self-reflection, you've um, looked back over what you've invested in in the past, seen what's worked and what hasn't. Um, you're looking to invest in something that will work long term, um, but you have reviewed the past. You've done your shadow work, you've worked on yourself, you've been in, on your own doing your self-work, reviewing the past, and now you're ready to go out there. This is your energy, and find a relationship with the Hierophant. You've learned a lot of lessons here about what you want and what you don't want. And after that self-work, you're ready to, to head out there now, coming out of your hermit shell, hermit crab shell. <laughs> I know I'm a Cancerian. <laughs> this is a bit of advice for me too. <laughs> um, yeah, go out there and um, have some fun, show those actions of love, see, try, again, trying to find that relationship. Someone who is looking for what you're looking for. That's why this person's coming back, because they know that you're getting back out there again. Yeah, you're looking for, a, you found the passion within yourself with the Ace of Fire. And the Wheel of Fate, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you found the passion within yourself. You're ready to get out there and... Yeah, the wheel's turned. You're sitting on top of the wheel now in a really positive sit, um, position. Feeling very confident. Ready to take action and get out there. Love it, love it, love it. Alright. It's a piece of crap on my table. Alright. Tell me about reconciliation for this love energy coming towards Cancer, please. It's a big deck, so I can only shuffle half at a time. Okay. So they've got the Ace of Earth and the King of Fire. I don't need to say fire energy because it's the king of fire. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're looking to come back to offer, have a stable new beginning with you, offer some sort of stability, but they are mainly focused on their passion here. Very focused on getting what they want. I'm hearing going after what they want. Very in control of their actions here. Acting quite mature when it comes to passion. But as we can see here, <laughs> that's not very mature when it comes to passion. And I don't know what that is yet, but yeah, when they come back to reconcile, they're going to offer some sort of stability here and act like they've matured in their pa ways of passion and their actions. Yeah, because they want to heal this. Four of Swords, Four of Air. Because they want to heal this. They want another chance. Queen of Earth, Six of Fire, Eight of Earth, and Six of Air, yeah. Mm, so they're coming in wanting this 
love and stability, love and commitment, whether they see you as this or male or female, or whether they um, are actually coming in wanting these elements now, I don't know, but they want your attention. They want this to be go down successfully. There's the work they say they want to put in. And move to calmer waters with you. Page of fire, see? It's gone from a king to a page pretty fast. But it is passionate communication and talk of action here. Mm. But wanting to move to calmer waters, definitely move on from whatever it was in the past. Wanting to put that work in, this to be successful, and possibly have some sort of commitment here, but do they just want you to commit, or are they actually going to commit? Mm, it's not looking like it. But, well, you never know. Sometimes the clarifiers prove that they're not doing that anymore. Mm, we'll find out. Alright. Mm, there's the king of earth now. We have the queen of earth. There's the king. Stable, grounded, and committed. Hmm. Alright, tell me about flirt for this love energy coming towards cancer, please. Hmm. We have the goddess or the empress in this deck. Hmm. So that flirting, they want it to grow into something. Or well, they know they're flirting with an empress, male or female. The empress births new ideas and grows them. The emperor makes sure everything runs smoothly and, and stays under control. So that what the empress grows continues to grow. So, do they want this to grow beyond flirting? Or are they just flirting with someone who they think is beyond seven of cups? <sighs> are they flirting with you and others? Because we do have the lovers here, which is the choice card. I'm also hearing they're very confused about how to flirt with a with a empress, male or female. Mm. So we've got the lovers, we've got the death card. Innocence, which is the fool, and the and the rook, which is the tower. Wow, four major arcana. Well, that's interesting. So, um, flirting with the empress, but there's confusion and illusion here. Come in flirting with you like they want something to grow here, but you're not the only option. I don't know. I don't know, I don't, yeah, doesn't, something's not right here. Yeah, they've got, you know, perhaps their other choices have all gone now. They're wanting to have a new beginning with you after the tower fell. Or they're seeing you as a, the, the true soulmate now, wanting to transform this into a new beginning after the tower fell. To a fire, see, I don't know, they don't know. I think they make it a choice here. Nine of Earth. Hmm. Oh, maybe they've made the choice here. They don't want to be single. They want to put the work in now. Maybe they've grown, grown beyond the flirting that it just caused so much confusion and illusion. Seeing a better option now? Hmm. I don't know. Let's just be careful, Cancer, because it's... I'm getting like, oh, they're doing all the right things, but something's just not sitting right here. Hmm. See, so Eight of Cups walked away from what doesn't fulfill them emotionally. Have they walked away from all that flirting? Walked away from all the options? Eight of Fire, two eights. 
there's the two of fire and the nine of earth. So if they walked away from talking to multiple people, made that choice to be single and another eight, I'm presuming, yes, work on things with you, moving to calmer waters. Hmm. All right, let's find out about this codependency. This love energy coming towards Cancer, please. Something feels a bit strange here. Okay. We have Judgment, Eight of Air. It's another Eight, and the Three of Air. Wow. Hmm. So I guess they um, are still attached to the fact that they want another chance with you. Still stuck in their head about the fact that they got their heart broken. Wanting to come back. Second chances. Stuck in their head about the heartbreak. They're still addicted to you in a certain way, attached to you, or codependent to you because of that heartbreak when you broke up. Wanting that second chance, that's all they think about and how heartbroken they are without you. But it's not good that they're coming back codependent. What's at the bottom? Hmm. Four of Earth, they're still holding on to this, although I am getting magic trick. Because um, it is a magic trick. <laughs> but they're still holding on to this. They haven't let go of the fact that they got their heart broken here. Definitely haven't let go of that. Three of Earth, Knight of Fire, Ten of Air, and the God, which is the Emperor to the Empress, the God and the Goddess. Yeah, they want to come back and work on this. They're, they're still addicted to you. They're sad, not letting go. They want to come in with this passionate action here, but after that painful ending, they want the pain to stop. Because they feel that they could be your counterpart. Emperor to the Empress. That's their wish, to heal this. I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. Oh, we'll keep going. Hmm. All right. Perhaps they're realizing flirting with an empress or male or female just causes confusion. They are very um, codependent on this second chance. But then they're holding on to the heartbreak. I, hmm, I don't know. Alright, message for cancer. Creativity, I'm not going to read them. Ownership, cause and effect, and friendliness. See, you're, yeah, you're being creative here. You're, um, I suppose, look, you've got new ideas. You've been, got new forms of illumination. You've, you're innovated. You're ready to go out and, like in Empress mode, create a whole new life for yourself. You've taken ownership of everything that's happened, learnt the lessons, cause and effect, you're aware of what, you know, you're, I'll read it, are you aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results? So you're taking ownership, you're creating what you want here, you're taking ownership, you know the cause and effect of what happens, you just out there being friendly. Forging love-based connections. Recognizing traits within others. Going out and finding people that are, 
are similar to you, creating new relationships, taking ownership of yourself, aware of the cause and effect, just out there being friendly, like, yeah, I can see why they're coming back, because like I said, you're out there trying to find a new, yep, you found your own individuality, and you're grateful for the fact that you are who you are. You've great, you, you know, you're so grateful now that, um, that you found yourself again. All right. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards cancer, please. So, yeah, yeah, you're out there. Yeah, you're, look. I can see why they're coming back, because they don't want to lose you to someone else. the three got him excellent so they have patience tolerance Ooh. and elevation see they are um, trying to be patient here they're not gonna they're not gonna tolerate anybody else being with you, I think, trying to elevate themselves to a better position to come back to you, is what I'm hearing. Ownership, oh, they need to take ownership, gratitude, cause and effect, and friendliness. See, they've realised that, that they have to take ownership for their own, their own, their own acts and deeds, I'm going to say. Yeah, misdeeds and accomplishments alike. Are they going to take ownership and learn their lessons? Have they? There's gratitude here, which I think is... I think they've realised taking ownership for the fact that they were lucky to have you. And the cause and effect of the, what they have done. Because of that flirty friendliness, maybe. It's created here. Yeah. They're trying, uh, the cause and effect, now they're trying to get friendly with you again and create something. What's their purpose? Compassion. Yeah, they want you to be compassionate towards them. <sighs> Alright. I've got this little mini deck because... The way these cards are, it's not really much for him. You sort of lose everything. But... I thought I'd just give these a go. I do stab myself with my fingernails when I shuffle, but that's all right. All right. We'll see if I can riffle shuffle them. Oh, they don't, they're not going to bend, but put them together like that. Okay. All right. Message for cancer. <laughs> Ooh, the lovers, King of Cups, Water Energy, the Death Card, and the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> See, you thought this, uh, you had a relationship with this person, there was a connection here, but, um, yeah, the emotions weren't being shown, and things ended because of that. All it did was transform into a painful ending here. So you're making it, you've made the choice here to not show your emotions to this because it is over. And it just transformed into pain. When you wanted ten of pentacles, two tens here. Yeah, you were looking for long term stability here, but it would just became a nightmare with the nine of swords. Page of cups, king of wands, that king of wands again, fire energy. Yeah, so, yeah, those petty little flirty messages of, you know, little bits of love, when it was all about passion, wasn't enough for you. You're looking for the full cup of love. You've got your own cup full here. 
Yeah, you used your intuition and closed out the cycle because it was just too much heartbreak. But they're still holding on to that, thinking they can get this back. Alright, let's... Um, yeah. Yeah, you made a choice that you weren't going to get your heart broken by this person again. Page of Cups, Water Energy. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. Hmm. I'm, I'm getting two things. I'm getting, you feel like they need to apologize for their player action. Um, also getting that, you, you know, your cup's full. You're out there talking to people. You're taking passionate action for yourself here. Yeah, self-love, nine of cups. Yep. Definitely. Wow. Go Cancer. Love it. Alright, tell me about patience for this love energy coming towards Cancer, please. These cards can sometimes be a bit slow. Tell me about patience for this love energy coming towards Cancer, please. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Swords and the Strength card. Yeah, they're being patient. There was a very painful ending here, but they're trying to stay strong and be patient to the fact that maybe they can bring this back together again. Hmm. Nine of Wands. Yeah, they haven't given up. They not, haven't given up yet. They're not giving up. Bit of a weird warrior, but not giving up. Six of Swords again. They want to move to Karma Waters. Four of Pentacles again. They're still holding on to this. Page of Cups, Water Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. They want to come in and offer that love and have this happy ever long-term stability with you. Apologize. Whatever it is, that communication of love, emotion... They want this long-term stability with you. And they're going to be patient. Waiting. Because you know, they're, they're still heartbroken. Three of Swords. And they want to apologise to break it, for breaking your heart too. See, that could be another thing too. That they can't get out of their head how they broke your heart. Hmm. Tell me about tolerance for this love energy coming towards cancer, please. Come on. Talk to me. Tell me about tolerance. gonna use these cards again if you're gonna be like that <laughs> oh nine of pentacles they can't tolerate the fact that you're single and looking good independent don't need them anymore wow yeah you're looking good you got your money you got your pet falcon you got your own house, or, you know, whatever it is, you're looking good, you're doing fine on your own, and they're not doing fine without you, you're doing fine without them, but they're not doing fine without you, they, oh, they're having a hard time tolerating that, mm, three of wands, they've been waiting for you to come back, ooh, they can't tolerate the fact that you're not coming back. Six of Wands, Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups, there you are, Cancer, and the Two of Pentacles. They don't know what they're going to do now. He's like, what I'm going off that. Mm. They want your attention, and they're burdened by the fact that you're in your own element now, looking pretty. They don't know what to do. 
they want to offer this. There's that Ace of Pentacles, the first card that was out, and the Judgment card again, which we saw before. There, here, here, Judgment card, a lot of repeating cards. They um, want to, yeah, offer some, come in and offer some stability here, try and reconcile, balance things out with justice. And after all that disappointment, they cause Five of Cups. Yeah, they want to work on this, but they don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. They're um, trying to stay balanced because you're in your element. And that's burden to them because they wanted you to give them all their all you know all your attention. They've been waiting for you to come back. Yeah. Five of Swords. I heard their mind games and manipulation backfired on them. Yep, the wheel turned. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel turned on all this. Their mind games didn't work. Okay. Tell me about elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. What is that here? Ooh. Interesting. The two cards. We got the Queen of Cups, which is you, and the Two of Cups. Wow. See, elevation, they know they have to lift themselves up. They have to step up. If they want beautiful love with you, the best love in the deck, they're going to have to elevate themselves and raise their vibration. They're going to have to do better than what they did before. Also, they feel elevated with your love. It's at the bottom of the star. Yeah, they want to heal this. They want that wish of you back in their life. They're going to have to elevate their vibration here. Can't be flirty and codependent. They see you as this beautiful love. That's for sure. It's at the bottom. Eight of Wands. Oh, communication. Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Taking that action. A hangman and the page of pentacles see they so want to talk to you they want to come charging in passionately here but they know they're going to have to get a, a different perspective on this and offer at least some sort of stability here page of pentacles earth energy yeah they can't go about this the way they did before it doesn't get them anywhere that passionate action caused the dead end they're going to have to offer stability Although it's not very much here. Yeah, Queen of, they've got to come correctly. Queen of Swords, air energy. You've got to come correctly to the Queen of Swords or she will cut you down. Alright. Interesting. Mm, let's see what would like to be said. Alright, what does Cancer want to say? I knew that was going to come out. I was going to say that right from the start. But, I mean, all the decks have been saying that for you. You're single and ready for love. You are. Oh, yes, you are. I was going to say that before. After the second deck. Because that's what you are. You're single and ready for love. Definitely. I still love you. I want you back. And I feel like I'm losing you. I'm hearing that you're single and ready for love. You, you still have feelings for this person. You still love this person. Um, but as much as you might want them back, you think it's better that um, you just let them go. Because, you know, this flirting and codependency is not what you want. See, and even if they come back with this and do that step up, are, are they going to stay in that? Are they going to take ownership? Well, they've got ownership here. Maybe they're learning something here. I don't know, though. Hmm. But you're definitely single and ready for love. So it's up to them. They've got to either step up or you're, you're, um, you'll find someone else who will 
do the right thing. Don't we belong together? But I'm feeling that's like you want someone who makes you feel like you two belong together. All right. Give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Cancer, please. That's one and two. We need one more. At least one more. Whoa. Whoa. Three. Oh, wow, five. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's put that there. That goes there. This one was first out because that went flying. And I think it's these ones. All right. So they want to say, I am different now. Mm-hmm. Are you? Okay. If they are, fine. If it's just an act. Uh... Yeah, well, I guess I've had a wake-up call, maybe, I don't know, let's keep going, we will be together again, no, oh, they want you two to be together again, you are beautiful, of course you are Cancer, I can't wait to see you again. I should have told you how I felt. Mm, that could have been one of the problems. You make my skin tingle. And I can't do this anymore. Ooh. Yeah. They can't be without you anymore. Sorry. Wow. They can't do this anymore. Maybe they are going to come in with that communication. I think they're going to try and reconcile and offer you something real this time. But like I said, you know, it's up, well, it's up to you, of course. Everything's up to you. Let's look at this again for a check the bottom of the deck. What else they want to say? Because this is usually right. Say for you to love, love yourself first, religious factors, and let go of control issues. Ah, so it could be that they know that you, you're not going to hurt them. You're probably the only one that they know they can open their heart to. Perhaps they learnt that self-respect here, looking at their, um, in, their religious fact, what they thought that love was. Being a bit selfish about what they thought love was and now ready to release those control issues of trying to control the situation all the time. So they could have been married and went through a separation and didn't want that again. Express your love, new love. Hmm. Ooh, maybe they expressed their love to someone new and that didn't work out. Yeah, could have been. Oh, well. Let's see what's at the bottom. I'm afraid to reach out to you. Oh, yeah, they're scared. I've always loved you. Mm, okay. I love holding you. I am not good enough for you. They know that they weren't. Well, not with this flirting and codependency. Although we've clarified what that is. Well, the flirt one still got me confused. Mm, I think they're confused because they tried flirting with someone who was in Empress mode and it uh, just caused confusion. And then we've got, I'm scared I'll get hurt so I run. So, yeah. Mm, mm, they've got a fear to reach out as much as they want to. They're scared they're going to, well, that could be why the breakup happened. Well, they scared they were going to get hurt again, so they ran. But then they realise that they've hurt you. <sighs> mm. Well, 
Okay, well, maybe they are different now. Maybe they've had a bit of a wake-up call here. But I don't know. I think I think the fact that you, they can't tolerate the fact that you're out there looking for new love and they've been waiting for you to come back has freaked them out. So, mm, they're coming back. Wow. All right, Cancer. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll do another reading in a few days' time and we'll see what's going on then, hey? All right. Well, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.